Greetings, and welcome to the second part slash installment slash episode of Matt's Minecraft World Tour. Um, what have I done since the last episode? Well, I've kind of sorted the lag out. Um, I should have installed Optifine. And it seems to be working quite well. I'll just put that for a second. Um, yeah, still not that great, but it should be alright now. It's better than the last episode at least, I think. Just done some... Um, Brewing, got the, some speed potions, speed, like there, speed potions there, and I've installed that just to fill in the water bottles up from. Uh, what have I done? This is the last episode. Did some more mining, uh, a little more diamonds and stuff like that. Um, but the most important thing is I've started my work on my first main viewer, like you could call it, project, which is the treehouse suggested by Gav on the Facebook page. Uh, I've done some collecting of wood and stuff for that, as you can see and leaves and saplings and more oak wood, birch wood and spruce wood and oak leaves, jack-o'-lanterns which you will see the use for later on not this time but later on in the build grass, ferns and vines that's the main bulk of the stuff I may have to get some more during the um, the during the build but yeah as you can see here I just got some vines growing so I can grow some more vines uh, the sound seems to be lagging quite a bit here Sorry about that. Let's just get these. Some nice mob stuff. Okay, the nice glitch down. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I've added in build an epic treehouse. You said build a treehouse, but yeah, I put epic there. And it's on the green wall to show that it's the main viewer project now. If I get any more, I will subsequently put them on these ones here, but they'll have, for example, yellow on them, which means, you know, I'll do it from time to time. Or red, which means it's on hold. Green means um, it's my main project right now, so that's pretty much all I've been doing over the past two days. Uh, I spent one whole day at a place I will show you in a minute, and the second day was around here, as you may be able to see if I get outside again. Wow, this lag's actually pretty bad. It seemed better when I tested it out just now, but must be just stupid. No changes up on the zero zero bulletin board. All I've really been doing is working on the treehouse. Um, as you can see over here, I've set up a pumpkin farm to get all the jack all, all, uh, all of those jack o' lanterns. I think I've got most of them now. As you can see, I'm losing, I've cut down a load of trees, which is where I got that wood, oak, and birch wood from just now. Um, I'm just gonna clear out 100 blocks away from the centre of that. Just to, not really for any point. Just doing it because then if I expand my base around here. I have to worry about getting rid of trees when I do so. So it goes up to about there. If I go all the way around there. A fair bit further that way and then down there and along there. So yeah. Um, again, just give me some feedback on the graphics, the lag obviously I can deal with, but I've had to reduce some settings to get this running at a reasonable speed like this. Uh, as you can see here, the water's not animated. So that's one of the things I have to sacrifice, but not too bad. Right, I'm going to take you off to a place where I've spent pretty much a whole day in the game, a whole, whole day in real life, uh, just collecting materials really. It's about, let's see, um, I don't know how exact. I'd say 10,000 blocks that way, but I'm not going to go walking this way, am I? I'm going to go in my nether area. This still takes quite a bit of a while, so I'll meet you over there. Right, we're here, and um, yep, we spawn in the cave. Um, when I first created the portal, it put me down in the cave because I was lower level and never. Um, yeah, this is a little base I've got, so I'll, I'll take some of this stuff back with me in a minute. Um, yeah, so we're in the cave and I'll just quickly pop up to the surface. There's a chicken there for some reason. Oh, it's night. That's just that's just lovely. I'm so going to get screwed. Um, yeah, so as you can tell on the coordinates, we are 13,000 blocks away from spawn. Zero zero area, and we're in a jungle biome. Now you might be wondering where I got that jungle wood and jungle leaves and stuff from. Well, this is it. This is what I call the jungle deforestation outpost. There's a skeleton. Let's just get him. This is a very good sword we got on me here. Not like two shots, four fire but two looting free. It's pretty decent. It's like the best sword you can get. So, yep. This is the jungle for the forestation outpost. Um, this actually isn't um, all of it, to be honest. Um, this is a 
small island basically the way I used to find my jungle deserts and jungles like this because I was looking at where to find an area of jungle to deforest I don't want to do near to zero zero because that's where I'm going to build my um, treehouse or might build more in the future you never know so I looked on the map and found this one and it's kind of like this is a small island that's off a larger jungle so I put this portal on the uh, smaller island and the large jungle is just over here might be able to show it to you if I can see it from this beach takes me about eight minutes to get here from the zero zero base through the Nerva and that's uh, but that's also with a speed potion as well for eight minutes so can we see it or just have to pop over to this got clear water on here with Optifine which I love because usually you can't see anything with underwater and stuff but it's amazing now Optifine and there's the large jungle there if I just let it come into render in for a second or so I think this is there is a huge jungle. I think there's at least a de one, one or two t um, jungle temples in there. So, uh, yeah, I haven't got onto deforesting that yet. I just did this small line that gave me enough for the project. So, I've probably come back here enough time just to get jungle saplings. Because um, if you didn't know, you know that all like, oak leaves and birch leaves and spruce leaves they all have a one out of twenty chance to drop a sapling of that type, and also the oak trees have a one in like a hundred or one in two hundred chance of dropping an apple but with the jungle leaves they only have a one in forty chance of dropping a um, sapling from it which is why you, it's harder to you know, get saplings from it so and I'll probably come back here if I run out of um, saplings at any point and plus since I need leaves for the project as well it's going to be harder for me because obviously if you use the leaf and collect it with a shear instead of just letting it decay or disappear and obviously you're not going to get a sapling from it so if you harvest the leaves from every single jungle tree cut you harvest you're not going to get any saplings back and eventually run out anyway right so this is the jungle deforestation outpost I'm just going to cram as much as I, as I can as I left here in my inventory uh, yep, 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 yep. wood, jungle wood, ferns, jungle leaves and I'll run out of space what can I leave here? Um, don't need all these saplings. I've got enough saplings over there. Um, yep. What have I got in here? Ugh, what should I leave? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave a sword, a pickaxe, a flint and steel just in case, and the shovel. Just because if I ever come back here, I might want some tools. Let's take back some full stacks of this. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And there's nothing in any of these furnaces apart from coal, so this is actually a band of mine shaft through here. There. So I got um a couple of spider spawners down there. And it probably won't make this into a probably make, make them into an experienced farm because so far away from spawner would be very helpful. So yeah. Right, I'm gonna journey back to zero zero. Right, I made it back. Um so yeah, we just showed you that then I uh so now I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head off to lagging, sorry. I'm gonna head over to a jungle that is one or two thousand blocks that way. I hear something. It's just a sheep, you know, dancing in the, in the ground. You know, it's, it's casual, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to a jungle that's about one thousand two hundred, one thousand two thousand blocks that way. Um, which I think in the Nev would be about 150, 200 maybe at most. Um, yeah. Not not 200, less than 200 blocks. That's you know about a two minute walk, a one minute walk, and plus when it's hooked up to a minecart, so no half a minute. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over there and probably clear out a, a reasonable fat space for it, for us to um start building the treehouse. And before I do that, actually, I'm gonna put in a cl little clip, a little teaser clip there of just me messing around in my not really doing anything, but I'm just gonna show you what I plan to do with the treehouse just very quickly in my creative world. So I'll on to that now. And voila. Get up. Right, hello again. Um slight technical error here. Uh not as in not in, not in a jungle as I promised. Due to my network adapter it broke, so but it didn't mean I couldn't film. But I couldn't upload at least, so I didn't bother to film anymore. This is a week later than the episode's supposed to be released. Um I haven't actually done anything to the 
jungle tree house. I've just been focused on other things. Um, this is my old computer still. I still haven't got my new desktop, but I thought I may as well, since the network adapter is now fixed, may as well you know make a video, upload it at least. That was a bit of a fail. Um, I'm not going to do anything else big in this episode. Just going to show you some of the stuff I've been doing in the time between. Over here is a new thing I've made. Uh, it is the this is the pre 1.4 billboard, and this is the post 1.4 billboard. Basically, stuff to do before 1.4 comes out, stuff to do before 1. Point, stuff to do after 1.4 comes out. So here we got collect iron tools and items from Zombie Experience Farm, and use XP grinders more because experience grind is getting nerfed and the item dropping is being changed for mobs on some armor and weapon types and obviously afterwards utilize more decorative blocks and item frames and test new miscellaneous features carrots and potatoes lovely lovely and animals in nerve slash end and then improve the link to village alpha and i have actually done the link to village alpha you can see in that little cobblestone building over there uh, there's a little rail cart track heading all the way over to village alpha nothing too great just you know a rail track in the middle of nowhere had a little creeper explosion here, took out a bit of the fence, and the sheep decided to mob towards that opening, which was a bit tricky. And here we are, just a little, little thing where I put the villages in. Over here, there's a the zombie experience farm over there, oh, that was Facebook. A uh, zombie experience farm won't head all the way over there, there's one fairly close to the surface there, so I just made that there, it's very rough as you can see. I'm going to improve it at a later date, I just wanted to get it done so I could use it. And I was going to show you one more thing. So did the village alpha thing, so we have two villages in here. A uh, librarian here and just a farmer over there. Farmer's just got rage, you know. I swore in my uh, wheat to emerald and just, just a couple of trades I've done. I haven't really experimented much with him, but this is the guy I'm mainly focused on. Paper is what you really want to trade to a villager. Because it's easy to obtain with sugarcane. And I haven't got any because I recently traded with him and we have some emeralds, etc. Lovely. We have a total of 84 blocks of emerald. So I'm gonna possibly use them in designs of buildings in the future since they are a very nice block to be seen just in, in somewhere. Right, uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do in this episode. Uh, expect one very shortly in the next couple of days to try and get one done before I go back to school. Just to make it for the loss of time. Shall we say goodbye, Mr. Villager? No? Okay. Oh, a little thing down there. I need to sort out in a second. Oh, and I have this chest here just for the discs. There's a little stair up there so it can still be opened. Yes, but that's it, really. Really? Really, really? Any other things I've done is made a branch mine a couple thousand blocks from here just to get loads of materials. So, And obviously have the village alpha link there. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please feel free to post a comment, or message me on YouTube, or tweet me at Commence Gaming, or like the Facebook page, or email me at commencegaming at yahoo.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Good night, slash good morning, slash good day.